Fish. Fish on. Fish on. Fish. Oh my God. It's a jinker. It's a giant lake. That's crazy. A little Don't freshwater just, shrimp? Yeah, they just look like tiny shrimp. Now that I've seen firsthand what this lake is capable of producing. Is my flag up? My flag's up. Yeah, this is the biggest lake shot I've ever seen in my life. We're about to land the biggest lake shot of you. Yes, please. Could I actually get a double bag? I'm going ice fishing. I was going to use it as a trash bag. You are good. I got the goods. Now I got to drive into no man's land. So it's trout opener. I'm making a weekend out of it. We're going to be spending uh, two to three days on the ice and we're going to be going after lake trout, rainbow trout, and going after them ice fishing. Right now I have the snowmobile on the back, so I don't have to walk out anymore. Driving about four hours north to meet my buddy Dan. Can't fish tonight, but we're camping out to hit him bright and early in the morning. I got lucky, I didn't even have to worry about food. Look at this dude. It's like my truck in a freaking bin. Venison brats and green beans are eating gourmet out on the lake. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Ice glizzy. All right, guys, so we're all set up now. Dan's got uh, his setup going in here. It's kind of similar to what I do. It's actually in a smaller house. Pretty awesome. And here's mine. 
<laughs> you guys might be like, why is this hole so big? Uh, it's because the fish are so big. We'll touch more on that tomorrow, hopefully, when we when we catch one. I remember to bring a melt crate tonight so the heater doesn't melt the ice away and create a big pool. So I might set a rattle reel or something down tonight uh, with a minnow on it, but we can't fish trout until the morning because trout opener is not until midnight. So, I mean, technically we could fish tonight at midnight, but we'll see what the night brings, I guess. Maybe lock them doors and turn the lights down low. I don't know why the fuck I'm saying this. Memories all alone in the moonlight. Memories. <laughs> Fisherman gone wild. Some late night cable TV right now. Fisherman gone wild. Stripping for you guys. Not making the cut, right? Thanks for wondering, this is how warm it is in here. Barefoot boy. It's my little... My little house. My little house. Wee wee. Wee wee woo woo. Wee wee boo boo. I don't know what's been going on with my phone today already, but um, it's been telling me that it's like an hour later than it actually is. So when I woke up, I thought it was like five o'clock, but it was four. So I went back to bed for a little bit. Now I'm jigging again. Had a couple fish chase up, nothing commit. So I made my uh, bait on my jig a little bit smaller. No, I'm not tired. No, I'm not. What do you guys think that this could be in 75 feet of water? Because it comes up and chases me, but it's not very big. Howdy. Howdy. Oh, there's a fish down there. I lost one this morning. You lost one? Yeah. Good bite? Yeah, like three bullets out. What? He chased me like 40 feet out. Okay. Fast? Like fast. Should I set my tip up here, or should we... uh? Wait until the next spot. I don't know. I feel like we could stay in the spot for a little bit. I mean, I lost one. And we're marking fish. This man's an animal. Smoked lake trout? Bacon? <laughs> Eating good out here. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, if you don't need my help while I'm doing that, or while you're doing that, I'm going to go set my tip up up. Fish on, fish on, fish, fish on. Dan, fish on. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not very big. 
It's a little guy. He's almost dinner. Well, his lake is here. <laughs> it's really small ones too. You see, this is a live well. You got a couple holes drilled like down a half a foot or so, and then chiseled hole. What's that? Yeah, we're not skunks. Thank God. There goes all the line again. <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> this thing's big, man. I just hope it's a laker, not a big one. <gasps> it's a giant laker. It's a giant laker. It's a giant laker. It's huge. It's a giant laker. I'm gonna try to tell Graham. <laughs> that thing is ginormous. It's absolutely giant, dude. It's a rat. Yeah. <laughs> We're at leader. We're at leader. Oh, it's not it's wrapped, wrapped anymore. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna try to get him head first then. It's not quite as big as I thought. He's huge. <laughs> Trout opener 2021. Dude. Northern Minnesota. <laughs> Can't beat that, man. Alright, here. We gotta get a freaking tape on him right now. Here, flip your, flip it. Go right to the hook. 35 and a half, 35 and a quarter. Just got this fish out. Um, she's bleeding a little bit. So I got her in the live well, trying to get her revived. Um, let her get her wits back about her. And then we're gonna try to send her back. But I'm just gonna keep an eye on how much blood is coming out of her gills. But she's looking pretty good right now. Get her home. Yeah, that was good. Sick, dude. Sick. Dude, that was so freaking glad. amazing. I'm so glad we made the decision to come to this lake. <laughs> Could have gotten to a different one and caught fish all day, all six pounders, seven pounders, but come out here for a fish like that and it's all worth it. Yeah, for sure. And like the scenery here is awesome. Just you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Like it's a little slower during the day, you know, you're not going to get as many bites, but yeah. One well, no, it's, what is it, like, 1 in the afternoon now? So we've been fishing. Mm -hmm. We got here at, like, 7 p.m. No, we got here at, like, 5 p.m. last night. Yeah. I started fishing at, like, 6 a.m. this morning with a glow <laughs> tube, and I hooked one at, like, 6.15, lost it. <laughs> Haven't hooked a fish since. Haven't marked a ton. Uh, just moved to tip up and started jigging in a new spot, and sure enough, that flag went up right behind me. That's what it's all about right there. That's the biggest lake trout I've seen in inland water. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of the biggest... In the lake trout I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I'm gonna move my tip up, and we're gonna get that that other one rigged back up. It's so cool to see that. I mean, well, I don't have any words really. That was awesome. <laughs> that was sick. All right, so the fish weren't really biting too well in the spot last night, so we're gonna do a super big move over to another spot. Uh, getting everything packed up right now and getting ready for a really long snowmobile ride. So, see you guys at the next spot. All right, all jokes aside, we're all set up now. Um, my last spot was a lot nicer than this one. It's gonna be kind of, it's gonna be very slushy in here tonight, so. So much slush, but. Anyway, we're gonna get to fishing and uh, shut our pie holes.
right, well, we were getting a little stir crazy inside of our ice houses, so I decided to take the snowmobile over a point and we're making a fire. Somebody else has been kind enough to leave us some firewood over here. It looks like they've done it before, so a little community spot. And do some fish up over the fire and enjoy some beautiful scenery. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Can you split it? Can you split it? You know what we also didn't bring? Water. You killed it, dude. Good job. Thank you so much. Of course. snow in the boot. All right, let's see what these shrimp things you're talking about are. Oh, what? There's tons of them. That's crazy. A little Don't freshwater just, shrimp? Yeah, they just look like tiny shrimp. What? Dude, they swim like shrimp too. Mm -hmm. I've never seen those. I've heard about those before, but... I've seen them in videos and I've seen people use them to catch fish, but I've never seen them. Crazy. All right, bud. Well, have a good night. You too. <laughs> uh, it's a lot more wet at this spot than it was at the old spot. I'm going to leave that rod in the water. The uh, bale is really loose on it, so the drag will peel out if a fish hits it. But uh, it is time to go to bed. Good night, everybody. Now that I've seen firsthand what this lake is capable of producing, I really want to catch one myself. So uh, today we're going to be fishing until about 1 or 2 in the afternoon. We're going to see if we make something happen. We'll see what happens. All right, all packed up. Last year I fished here was about three or four years ago. I was out there and I got a 13 pounder. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, out in the, out in the middle more. Mm -hmm. And I lost one before that. I lost one that was a lot bigger than that one. Well, we'll get out of your hair here and let hey. you catch a fish. Have a good one. It was yeah, nice talking good. to you, gentlemen. Yeah. Is my flag up? My flag's up. It's in my foot, it's in my pocket. I think it's a false alarm. What? I think it might be a false alarm. Well, that thing can't even get through. It got pulled off. No, it's there, it's there. There's a fish on there. Hold on. Wow, that's really nice in there, bud. 
it All right. Should I let him take it for longer? Yeah, let him run. Is he still running? Yeah. Okay. This is a big fish, man, I'm telling you. I really hope my gear on this is good because I've never caught a fish on this rod. Right. Give him another like 10, 15 seconds, then just give him the beans. I'm almost to backing. Yeah, give him the beans. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Big head shakes. Oh, he's big. Let him run. Let him run. Good. Good. He's right underneath the ice already. It feels heavy, but I can't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to compare it to, dude. It feels nice. Yeah, it doesn't feel like that fish yesterday, that's for sure. You got two trebles on that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. I'm trying to keep my rod tip under so I don't do that. Is he taking runs still? No. Oh god. You got this, bud. Oh, he's huge. Oh, he's huge. Oh, he's huge. Oh, he's huge. He's huge. He is giant. Cause Oh, he's right here. He's right here. He's giant. He's absolutely giant, dude. Okay, I'm at leader. Okay. I'm at leader. Yep, you're good. You're good. Okay. Hey, here, let go. Be patient. Be patient. Yep. He's gonna take another run or two. That's the ginormous dude. This is the biggest lake shot I've ever seen in my life. We're about to land the biggest lake shot of you. Oh my god. He's gonna try to guide us. Right <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yes, buddy. Oh my yes, buddy. god. Look at this freaking fish. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Nothing like a buzzer beater, huh, bud? Yeah. Good. Good. Give me some, dude. Let's go! Oh my God! That's why we came here. It's huge. We're gonna have to get some measurements quick. I'm gonna get some pictures, and we got. I'm gonna put them right back. I brought a scale with, so we're gonna get a weight on this fish. Any guesses? Uh, I'd probably. I mean, 20 pounds. I don't think it's shy of 20. 20.1, We'll call her an even 20. All right. <sighs> 40 inches. 40 inch trout there. Nine, 18 and a half, 18 and a quarter. Yep. It's a big fish. Oh, there's a PB Lake trout right there. Oh, big girl. 40 incher. Sam's holes are right here, underneath a freaking couple inches of water, but what a perfect place to release this fish. Oh my god. Look at that. He's already, he's already kicking. It's an inland giant. An inland giant, to say the least. Everyone. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, no, she's gone. I don't know what the heck just happened, but I'm not upset about it. That was insane. And like, there really isn't a place that I would have rather caught my PB lake trout. Like 40 incher inland lake trout, northern Minnesota. You can catch them in Superior and catch them in Lake Michigan, but. No, I was pretty nervous coming into this trip. We went to a different lake that I'm not used to fishing. Um, there's not as many numbers here, but there's some really big fish. Um, that's what we were going for. You know, we didn't have a lot of action throughout the day, but we were going for that one, one or two big bites and we got them. So I'm just thankful it all worked out. And yeah, Dan, dude, open, thank you man. so much. Thanks for landing that fish. I don't know. I don't know how much lake trout fish I'm going to be doing this uh, winter anymore, but that was insane. This trip literally couldn't have been more perfect. He got a big one yesterday. I got the big one today. And all that's left to say is thank you guys so much for tuning in. And until next time, just keep on trucking. <laughs>